Here is how you configure your VESC one wheel after a battery upgrade. Let's say we have an XRV, which has a 15S pack by default. So we've upgraded it, let's say with an S18S2P. And the first thing we want to do, we go into float config, refloat config. In the specs section, this is where we configure our low voltage and high voltage pushbacks. So we want about 4.3 volts per cell for high voltage. So that would be 77.4. Let's find a round up. Then we want three volts per cell for low voltage. So that would be 54. And don't forget to hit right. And the next thing we do is we go into motor config and in here in general and then voltage. We want to set the battery voltage cutoffs and the right value here would be about 2.7 volts per cell for voltage cutoff start and 2.5 for cutoff end. You can also set that a bit lower, but the idea is to never really reach voltages that low. The low voltage tilt back at 54 volts is supposed to prevent you from ever hitting low voltages like that. Because if you do hit, let's say 48 volts, that means the maximum current gets reduced, which in one way or another will lead to a nosedive. So respect the pushback and don't ever get to these low voltages. We also want to tell the controller that we do have that new battery. So here we have battery cells in series in additional info. So 18 in series and then the battery capacity. So that would be nine amp hours for the P45B or 10 amp hours for Samsung 50S or P50B as well. And then lastly, well, don't forget to hit right. And then lastly, because we now have a more powerful battery as well, we have the ability to increase the battery currents. So that's in general current. And I used to have 30 and minus 25, which is pretty conservative for a stock XR pack. And now you can go up to like 70 amps battery current and minus 50 for regen current. And if you're racing, you could even go up to 90 and minus 60, no problem. But it's always good to leave a little bit of margin. You don't really need that that much current, but um, for racers or very heavy riders, feel free to go up a little bit. So again, hitting right, and that is it. So now you should get the correct percentages in your apps. Oops, my app UI doesn't work. I need to reinstall this too. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Talk to you next time.